On today's episode, EV sales growth flattens. Is it time for hybrids to shine? Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Sales growth in electric vehicles led by Tesla and BYD has long suggested the end of gasoline and diesel fuel in the transportation sector. While fuel cells are a viable clean option, lower costs in battery production have made pure electric vehicles the sales leader in green transportation. But can the momentum of early adopters be maintained? According to TrendForce Global Automotive Reports, the global sales of new electric vehicles, including battery electric vehicles, partial hybrid electric vehicles, and fuel cell types, surged to 2.8 million units in the first quarter of this year, marking a 16.9% year-over-year increase. Those are significant numbers, but it's the first time in three years that the year-over-year -year growth rate has dropped below 20%. Battery electric vehicle sales reached 1.8 million units, up 4.2%, while partial hybrid sales exploded, up 48.3%, to just over a million units. In the battery electric vehicle segment, Tesla maintains its crown with a 21.5% market share, despite a negative year-over-year -year growth rate of minus 8.5%. BYD followed with a 16.6% .6 market share and a growth rate of 13.3%. SAIC GM Wuling claimed third place, while surprisingly, BMW climbed to fourth with a 41.1% sales increase. TrendForce underscores that partial hybrid electric vehicles are set to play a crucial role in the electrification journey, maintaining strong sales resilience amid slowing battery electric vehicle demand. Automakers are recalibrating their strategies within the European market as they move away from a 2030 full electrification goal and begin reinvesting in partial hybrid development. This pivot could revive partial hybrid sales in Western Europe following two years of decline and drive growth through 2024. EV charging infrastructure is still a critical element in sales growth in the American market. In December 2020, Department of Energy reported that there was just under 29,000 public charging stations nationwide, but by February of this year, the system had grown to more than 61,000 stations, and currently over 95% of the American public lives in a county that has at least one public EV charging station. As expected, urbanites have the best access, with 60% of urban residents now living less than a mile from a public EV charger, compared to 41% of suburbanites and only 17% of rural Americans. Access to charging will likely become a significant political issue regarding legislative phase-out of gasoline-powered vehicles. According to Pew Research, only 30% of Americans surveyed who live more than two miles from a public charging facility favor a legislative phase-out of fossil fuel vehicles, compared to 49% of respondents who live under a mile from a charger. The company reports that only 17% of U.S. adults say that they are very confident in the country's ability to develop the necessary charging infrastructure. EV sales are in an interesting transitional phase. Early adopters have their vehicles, the supply of product in the market is ample, but rapid replacement of the gasoline and diesel-powered global vehicle fleet remains dependent on significant growth in charging infrastructure. And in the era of higher interest rates, electric vehicle pricing that more closely matches the MSRP of fossil fuel-powered equivalents will be essential. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.